Hey guys, today we're getting into a great cut application for you from Basai Dai. Check it out. Let's say, for example, we've done this. I've gone like this, I've gone like that, I've just tried to escape. I've done this, or he's moved the leg, doesn't matter, I try to shoot off. Now, the way we deal with this in our drill is this. He goes to do it to me. He goes here, he goes to kick, I move, and then as he goes to take off, I yank on, yank on him and grab hold. Okay? So this is in our, uh, our Kamawaza cutter. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. First one, I'm going to clench the hands. <laughs> Let's assume he's a bit taller. Otherwise you won't be able to do this one. We'll come to that in a minute. I'm simply going to clench the hands. That means that when I headbutt him, he's not going to move. That's key for me, okay? But I want to do this and headbutt him, because guess what happens? He lets go, but he's still behind me. That's bad, okay? So, when I do this, I'm going to pin and headbutt. Stomp on his foot, stomp the groin, call him dirty names, whatever it is you need to do, okay? And then from here, I'm going to drop my weight when I'm ready and shoot my hands up to create space, okay? So, sink in, headbutt, loosen him off, Shoot, get the hands up. Then I'm going to turn in and double leg take down. Okay? And we're going to deal with this on the ground. So I go like this pin, headbutt, raise up. Okay? If I didn't turn around, I'd come down, scoop the legs, pull. You see the movement? One, two, three. Over the top. Okay? Here, here, go for that. If you can't get it, work this, work that. Whatever you need to to soften him up. Drop your weight, lift your arms up. From here, turn in, and then go for you. I should probably stay that side, shouldn't I? Double leg takedown, so driving here, pull. If you can stay up, even better, just watch he doesn't kick you in the, in the groin on the way. Okay? Simple enough? Yeah? Okay, let's go to there. Then we look at the movements in the cutter, it goes one, two, three, four. That's the movements of the cutter, right? We look at Kung Fu Dai, one, two, three, then we come out this way. Basically the same movement, okay? Um, so, we're going to have a look at then what you do when you get on top, okay? So, uh, where did we go from? Oh, bear hug, that's right. So when you do this, it's really important. Now, James, again, remember I said how fighters grab differently to street fighters? No, no guy out in the street grabs you like this, right? Why? Because that's a good response. That's how we should grab, because that's how I've taught him to grab. But that's bad for out there. Well, not bad for out there, because that's exactly what, got, what he should do. But a street fighter doesn't do that, right? He does this. He just grabs you and tries to pick you up, okay? Like this. That's what really happens when you get this, okay? Somebody knows better, they tuck their head. Now, if he does tuck their head, okay, you just don't have access to the head. Hit it the best you can, stomp on this. Do, do what you've got access to, yeah? Okay. So, uh, that's right. Go. go here, bomb, stop, bomb, dirty names, whatever you need to do, but make sure you pin the hands. That's the first part. Next part, I drop my weight to this. This is all I need. I don't need it off. Just, just this is fine, okay? Now, the question was, which top side do you turn? Whichever side is easiest. My left leg is forward, so I'm gonna turn right, okay? It's too hard for me to work around this leg. Okay, so I, I moved out with my left leg just because that's how I move. So I just turn to the right, boom, done, shoot here. Now once you shoot, drive the, your head is to the side, but that's to keep tight, and drive the shoulders, okay? Passing in. And then you want to climb on top, whatever your method is to do that. Okay, I don't really care, I'm not going into guard passes today. Alright? I want to get on top. Now, as soon as I'm on top, I'm going to start hitting him, bitch slapping him, whatever it is I want to do. Okay? Now, when you're on top, not this. Okay, that's going to, he's going to manipulate those legs with no problem. I want to be here. Now, he wants to keep me in the saddle. What is the saddle? The saddle is the elbows down and the knees up, okay? All right. If his knees are down, then I sit back. And he doesn't have anything, right? Pop shots, he can't do any guard passes, he can't do anything. Very, very difficult anyway. If he sits up, I've got the weight advantage, yeah? Okay. If he, let's say he's got his knees up, but he's also got his elbows up, he's got his elbows up, yeah, bad technique. 
then I ride high. He has very little ability to buck me. So, this is bad for him because he has no ability, his arms have no leverage. So I want to get here if I can, but hopefully he's not going to allow that to happen. Yeah? Okay. Alright. So, what I want you to do, take him down, get to here, throw a couple of punches. Yeah? Now, you notice I don't do a dead straight punch. Here's why. All punches on the ground are elliptical. They are either sideways or they have a slight elliptical movement. Anyone know why? Yeah. Not you. <laughs> Anyone want to have a guess? Why don't I punch straight from here? Yeah. If he moves, <laughs> and you hit concrete, say goodbye to your hand. Okay? So I have a very either significant or slight circular move on it. So that if he does move and I click the ground, it's not a big deal. Okay? So I mainly hook punches. Even if you're going to straight punch, they still have a slight Bruce Lee style of elliptical movement on them. You don't dead straight on the ground. You're too much dead. You, you know what it's like, right? We want to put our body behind a straight set of bones so that we transfer as much of our energy through to that person. Yeah, unfortunately, that also means you transfer the energy to the floor. Yeah, so not good. All right. We're going to throw a couple of shots. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it and got some true value from the video. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. I really appreciate that. Check out all the other videos available. But you can also head to bookeyebloke.com where you can check out the premium videos and the other resources I've got. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the mat.